are the only time to live and to be. Now the only time to live and to be. An excerpt from Whispers of the Unknown. Bliss or Anand happen only now. Anand means bliss and Ida means now. Bliss is never there. It is always now. Bliss is never there. Bliss is always here. Bliss knows only one space. The space that is created around the here. And knows only one time that is created around now. If you think in terms of then and there, you will remain miserable. Now, then and there is the way of misery. And people are miserable because they go on living somewhere else. The present is the only time to live and to be. And here is the only space to be. So we start falling more and more into the present. Now, here. Know this as meditation. Thoughts take you astray and meditation techniques help you to drop thinking. The moment you drop thinking, you cannot go anywhere. To go anywhere, you have to ride on a thought. Thoughts are like horses. Thoughts are memory, thought is imagination. Verily the thoughts of the horses of thought take you astray on a ride to the past or the future. If you want to go into the past, you will need, the, need a horse to ride, the horse of memory. Memory is the horse that mind uses to enter the past. If you want to go into the future, then you will need another horse. The horse that mind uses to enter the future is called imagination. But they are all thought horses. Once you drop thinking, you cannot move even an inch. There is no way to move in that unmoving movement is the point for now. Now is eternity. Now is not part of time. Time is thought. Time consists of three things, past, present, and future. In fact, it consists only of two, past and future. Present is not part of time because it is very precise. Indeed, present is timelessness. It never comes and never goes. It is always here. Only we go on moving between past and future. And the present is always here, neglected. But we cannot stop. We are like a pendulum. It goes from one extreme to the other extreme and then gathers momentum to go to the other extreme on its own. It continues to oscillate between two extremes and in the process it never stops in the middle and you go on missing now hereness. You go on missing now hereness. To stop in the middle is meditation. Indeed, 
meditation is buddha's middle path meditation is neither going this way nor that not going at all when one is not going anywhere not even going into meditation not going at all what is in meditation that stillness is called ida it is one of the most beautiful words that utter silence that in ron stillness is called ida that immenseness or that eternity is called ida sometimes it happens unaware it happens seeing a sunset you are in it deep in love sometimes it happens that you are in it in that moment of stillness lovers tend to forget time in love they tend to enter a different world where there is no movement all is still and quiet not even a still or even a wave is there and sometimes in deep love you are there in that space for now yes that is the reason why love has such a feel because it gives you a few moments of now that is the reason why love has such a feel because it gives you a few moments of now that is the only natural that is why beauty has a feel when you are fascinated by the beauty as embodiment of a flower or a woman or a man or a child or a star suddenly time stops suddenly time stops and you plunge into the ocean of stillness you are so fascinated by it that thinking is no more for a moment you stop in the middle and the clock of time stops cherish those moments nourish those moments and create occasions for them to happen it cannot be brought directly what we can certainly create occasions circumstances and situations all religions are nothing but occasions to create those moments all religions are nothing but occasions to create those moments for example if it happens always in the early morning when the sun is rising the air is pure the world is still silent the birds chirping announces the arrival of the dawn and the earth is awakening if it happens in that moment then make it a point not to lose that moment if it happens always in the early morning when the sun is rising the air is pure the world is still silent the birds chirping announces the arrival of dawn and earth is awakening if it is if it happens in that moment then make it a point not to lose that moment just watch and see when it happens naturally then those are the occasions which can be created you cannot directly bring that moment but it directly you can persuade the moment to happen. 
For example, when you sit in a closed room with incense burning and its fragrance filling your nostrils, and it happens that that is just an occasion. That is how the religions discovered prayers and techniques for meditation. All prayers and meditation techniques were all discovered just as occasions. There is no guarantee that when you burn incense before a Buddha it is going to happen. There is no guarantee. But there is slightly more possibility. That is all. Just slightly more possible. When you bow down to Jesus, slightly more possibility exists. When you are in a church or in a temple or in a mosque, slightly more possibility exists because the church and the mosque and the temple are no ordinary places like the shop, the restaurant, the cinema hall, or the house where there are so many occasions. When you move in a temple, you move out of your ordinary mundane relationships, associations, and there is more of a possibility of seeing the cross and the crucified Jesus or a Buddha statue sitting silently of feeling the silence of the temple, the purity, the cleanliness and the innocence. They all help just as occasions. This is how these places were created in the first place. However, these have failed to serve the purpose. Initiation or sannyas or a master is an occasion. There is no guarantee that by becoming a sannyasi, sannyasi or an initiate you will attain, but it is slightly more possible. Just look into the eyes of the master, there is some possibility, it is an occasion. Just feeling the master. Being within his energy field, listening to him overflow are things that lead ultimately towards that happening. And that is all. But that is much, not small, that will make all the difference. That will make all the difference. This is all for this morning.